Hey, Sneaker Nerds back. Another video for you tonight. Not too long, this one. This one is Skyon Linux. I think it's called Skyon. I can't really pronounce it very well. But I'd say that's Skyon Linux, okay? Based on Ubuntu with an open box desktop environment. It's rather nice, actually. As far as I'm aware, the guy's just doing it as a bit of an experiment, but it seems to work super fine. Okay, so I'll just quickly go around it with you. Simple screen recorder comes by default, so that's pretty cool. And what I've been doing this evening is playing with uh, snaps and flat packs with it, and they seem to work over right. Yeah, super fine. So, on our left hand side, remember we can change the position of this bar, is Plank. So we have here the web browser, Chunderbird for your mail, File Manager is PC Man FM, nice and simple and light. I must say the ISO is quite large, but remember, he's used the system back to make it, so it's going to be a bit large anyway. Then we've got the Terminator for your Terminator. So, there you go. Terminator, there you are. Thank you, Terminator. You're there. Then we've got our Task Manager. Now, remember, I am recording it at the same time. This is not in virtual box. This is on real hardware, guys. Real, real hardware. So, you know, don't worry about it. It's just a drop in the ocean. Okay. So, you can see everything that's working here. So, I've got Simple Screener, Compton's here, Chromium's open, LX Task Manager, Chromium again, OSD's here. Spotify, I've got, oh yeah, I've got Spotify open, yeah, I forgot to, I forgot about that, anyway, never mind. Moving on, you also get Genie, for your basic stuff here, we're doing stuff, do HTML if you want to in there, no big deal, is it? It'll work. Next is Mousepad, for just basic notes. Remember, you can actually do HTML in here, you don't have to have a, what you see is what you get stuff. If you want to do HTML, do it here, learn the real way. Or go to Code Academy or somewhere like that. You also get Synaptic Package Manager for your packages. There is no real one here. Well, I say real one, but what I mean is there's no like GUI sort of stuff. Yeah, this is GUI, but you know what I mean. This is old school, hardcore, you know the score. So that all works perfectly. So, you know, I'll just find something for you so we can download. So it'll be Abby Word, of course. I'm going to quickly download it for you. There it is, the common, mark for installation, yeah, once all done, mark it. Do you want anything else there? No, not really, so we'll apply that. Just to show you that it actually does work, you know. Because some distros you try that, come on to distro watch, just don't work correctly, do they? Or they're just not worth trying. But this one, yeah, it's good. If he wants to, you know, get on with it, it'll be fine. Now, he's going the same route as me. Remember, I'm doing school mouse and school dog, okay? These are for schools. And I'm been, I've am i been using XFCE. And I thought to myself, well, for a school dog, I probably will go for open box for the really older machines. Just like, let's do, yes, all done. And um, when I found this, I thought, oh, yeah, that's, that's a good way of doing it, actually. I, I might actually use this, this sort of setup. Then I thought about it and went, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. So anyway, if I go to applications, which is a right-click applications, remember it's open box, so this is what we do. We go to office. Abbey Word will be there. Will it open? Yes. No problem. What version? Let's have a look about Abbey Word. 301. Yes, yeah, so it's quite current. And we can theme all this stuff as well, by the way. You can theme everything you want to here. Because he's done it from the ground up, basically. Just using the base and putting open box on top. I was going to do a video of this myself, but now he's done this, I might not bother anymore. Because you can just see my video now. Okay. Next. Obviously, I'm using a simple screen recorder. It's working. Spotify is open. Yeah. Now, I said to you I was using some snaps. Yeah. I thought I'd play around with snaps. I'm undecided about snaps and flat packs, to be really honest with you. I'm not really too sure whether I think it's the way to go. Yeah, it could help. But the RAM usage goes up and up and up the more flat packs stroke snaps you use, as far as I've found. So, if I go down to my applications... What have I got here? That's a snap. Okay. Spotify's a snap before we even start. Okay. AURIO is a SoundCloud thing. Okay. So then I'd, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'll open it. Yeah, I'll show you. I don't mind. So this, this is a snap, by the way. Installed via snap. And I'm going to install a snap for you in a minute, actually. Once it decides to open. Now, this is the thing about snaps. I take a, a bit of a while to open. For a simple reason, they run outside the OS, apparently. Okay, apparently. I'm going to, have to look into it a bit more. Sorry, a bit of a drinkage there. So I thought to you, yeah, 
Okay, so it's my Spotify thing here. This is my Spotify that I use for showing you stuff. Okay, it's not my usual. Yeah, it's what I would normally listen to. Okay, but it's not my full library, so we'll get rid of that anyway. So how do you install the Snap on Skyon? Okay, so I'm going to terminal. Now, as far as I'm aware, it's uh, Snap install, and so I want to go mine test, which is the Minecraft clone. So mine test. What's my password? And it will download the snap for you. Okay, so we'll wait till this finishes and then we'll do a sync with it. Okay, uh, I have noticed sometimes it doesn't install correctly until you rebooted. It. It's like going back to um, old school days before the nine, you know, in the 90s when you had to do that sort of stuff. I'm not going to go any further than that. Okay, so if I type in H job, would well, spell, of course. As you can see, while recording, I'm using 1.37 gigs of RAM, which is not too good. But bearing in mind, I'm at 60 frames a second and quite high, okay, on a high setting. Because that's the way I do it. Yeah, that's just me. So that's not too bad for me. And the CPU's not doing too much of it. If I lift it down to 30 frames a second, it wouldn't be using half as much, okay. So what do you do if you want to install Scion? Well, simple, really. I think it's on DistroWatch. This week, actually, I'm sure I see it there. But if you go to Swords Force, or nice new Sword Swords Force, as you can see, all been updated and lovely jubbly, don't go to download, okay? Go to files, okay? And we're going to click on files, and we're going to releases, and they're all testing, by the way. And this one is just a couple of days old, so we go to testing again. And the one you want is this one here, the one from February. Download it, give it a go may actually like it. I found it quite therapeutic actually. It's nice to look at. Um, bearing in mind I'm, I'm working on school mouse anyway, it's given me some more ideas of what I should do on my OSs, to be really honest again. But all well and good to the guy. You've done it as an experiment and now it's put up there and you can go and download it and give it a try yourself. I mean I quite like it. It's alright. Yeah. I'm not going to rate it from 1 to 10 because it's still testing. Like the rest of us, we're still testing. Yeah. But you might like it. Later is Ubuntu, so it'll be nice and security fed. You know what I'm saying. Sneaky Linux going out. Go and give it a try. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.